सो है गाइज आई हैव क्रिएटेड दिस थ्री डी एनिमेशन फ्रॉम अ टू डी इमेज इन आफ्टर इफेक्ट सो इफ यू डोंट नो हाउ थ्री डी वर्क इन आफ्टर इफेक्ट सो जस्ट यू हैव टू फॉलो माई स्टेप देन यू कैन क्रिएट दिस नाइस लुकिंग थ्री डी एनिमेशन बाई यूर सेल्फ एंड ऑल्सो गाइज आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर माई ऑल द इमेजेस एंड ऑल्सो माई आफ्टर इफेक्ट फाइल you can download that files and use link in the description below but if you download my images so please subscribe this channel and also like this video if you enjoy this video so let's start so hey guys you can see here in my after effects there are only images there is no solid layers or any shape layers so let me show you the images so this is our front image so here you see this is the solid color and then i have putted a gate on it so this will be gate and next image this is only a triangle and just uh, in different color and this will be roof so this is only solid layer and then i have putted lines on it so this will be our window and this is only a solid layer and the background and i have putted a window image on it these are four images which will be our 3d house so let's start so now you have after effects like this now go to new composition and click on this custom and choose hd tv 1080 2.9.97 now click on this frame rate and choose 30 now this uh, this is the duration so i will took only 10 seconds 00 now background color should be anything and click on this okay so here we have a nice composition so now just import the images and you can download the images same link in the description below and all the images will be here so i have given the name so let me just change the name so here is our four images so first of all put it here the front image so here is our image now don't change anything don't change this position don't do that please and just click on this roof and put it here now zoom it and now just put this roof image like this now window image put this window image it here now change this position like this and now just match the edges here yeah fine and now this is very important so watch carefully now click on this window image now go to this anchor point tool now click on this snapping and just choose this anchor point and put it here now same thing on this triangle you have to select anchor point tool and just drag this anchor point at here now this is it then put here the roof image and just change the position and put it here now same thing for anchor point click on this anchor point and put this anchor point at here and now from here the game is on select all layers and click on this 3d icon so you will see lot of things here don't be scared it is very simple just follow my step and one more thing also click on this roof layer and click on this and see this layer where is it so this is our window layer and this is our roof layer now click on this parent icon and just drag it here so if you move your window image so that roof image will be moved with it perfect now click on this active camera and click on this custom view one now click on this window image press r and you see here lot of properties opened now click on this y position and give here 90 degree sorry this is in plus so make it in minus like this fine now click on this window layer and click on this roof layer both the layers okay press control d for duplicate you have duplicated now click on this icon you have selected move tool so just put it here it should be match from the edges of the front layer like this yeah and now click on this uh, roof layer and press r and now we have to change x position and before that click on this custom view to front view now if you see front view so you will get this line here 
from images and now just change the x position x rotation like this so make sure it will be matched from the edges like this so give here minus 42 or minus 43 just make sure it will be like in this triangle position and now click on this roof now if you hold your shift then press s so scale property will be here with rotation properties okay now click on this chain icon and check it and give here 131 it should be matched from this top image top edges or 144 yeah 144 is perfect here now this is our duplicated roof from the other side so press r here also and now you see in x rotation we have given the value in minus minus 43 is here now in x rotation in this side of roof give here plus 43 so it's only minus plus uh, thing you have to understand and now you see the volume is wrong so we can change it manually so here will be plus 42 now click on this roof and press shift then press s click on this chain and uncheck it and give here 141 also give here 142 i think 143 yeah 143 is fine 142.5.3 yeah you should give here plus 42.3 in this side for this side of roof now in this scale decrease the decrease the size like this 42.5 yeah this is fine here and if you see from the front to default or custom view so see, you see here the roof is rotated so why so why it's happened because we have given here the volume you see here press ctrl z yeah fine now press u press u for hiding the information and press u so change the front view left view and top view yeah in the top view you see here there is no uh, space here if i decrease the scale here so you see the difference so there shouldn't be any line like this so this shouldn't be here it should be like this in the top view uh, i think you can understand so click on this and click on this custom v1 so now click on this layer front image and click on this roof top image now select both the layers and press ctrl d for duplicate and now just click on this z position you have selected your move tool so click on this z position and just drag here like this and this should be matched from the end of the edge like this fine you can choose custom view to left view so then you can see here the image is perfect or not so yeah here the edges is under the wall so just keep it here like this yeah now click on this left view to back view so in the back view the back of the house it should be a dark color so click on this effect and just you have to select this layer we have duplicated this layer and just type here fill and drag this effect in this duplicated front image which is our back and just click on this effects and click on this eyedropper tool and click on this color and then choose this color little dark like this and also for this triangle same thing drag effect click on this eyedrop and choose the darker color like this yeah fine so if you see this view to custom view one 
so this is perfect here if i press c and you see that is perfect thing you can see here so in the bottom view you see we have to give the bottom images also so just duplicate this layer of the back side of the layer if i click on this custom view to bottom view sorry back view yeah you see here this is like solid color solid layer just duplicate that layer press ctrl d and now click on this 3d box and check it for a, a little moment now you see here the anchor point click in this anchor point tool and drag this anchor point like here now click on this 3d box and click on this back to bottom view now in the bottom view press r and change some x position so you see here our back side layer is here so this should be minus 90 yeah minus 90 is perfect and now click on this one view to four view so you see here this is our right view but you see here the layer uh, the layer size is still here so just press s and click on this chain icon and check it and decrease the size here increase the size here so you see here this is the last anchor point so just match it 0.55 yeah this is too large 0.54 yeah this is fine here and now click on this four view to one view and click on this bottom view to default and now here is our 3d heart is ready just make sure you followed the same step as i mentioned now take a new null object so click on the empty space and click on this new and click on this null object now select all the layers and click on this parent icon and drag it here now make sure your null object is 3d now press r and if you change rotation in the y position so you see here so now we have to change the anchor point of the null object so press R and set the ruler in the center like this. Now change the Y position to minus 90 and now open the properties of null object. Click on this anchor point and this should be in the, in the center like this. Now press R and if you change the rotation so it will be rotated like this and make sure your uh, view in the default option so if you change your rotation if you change from here so it will be in here like this so you can change here and you can change here so this is like 3d but we don't change too many properties just only one property so the 3d will be look nice so click on this x position sorry y position and come here on two seconds and click on this like here change some rotation like this and come to four second and give here minus only minus and now click on this last keyframe come to six frame six second and paste it here now press n press ctrl shift x and click on this y position press f9 and boom your 3d heart is ready and here you see we have to fix it just click on this layer press ctrl c and here press ctrl v now just do like this So it will look like this. You can change the graph.
yeah you see here our animation is ready perfect and just blur the layers click on this blur icon so here is our background layer put this layer all below the image layers you can change the position so press p and put it here sorry put it little down like this and i hope you enjoy the video if you enjoy please like this video also subscribe this channel and i have also started a new channel for gaming live stream please support support that also subscribe that channel also so i will meet you in the next video until then and thank you so much for watching this video